Hello guys, I hope you are doing good. Welcome to this new video. Today we are going to solve another JavaScript machine coding round question. This question we are going to solve in React. So as you can see on the screen, we have to create a switch case component that should function similar to the original switch case methodology. As you can see, we have a parent component custom switch that will accept a value then we have multiple cases over here these cases we can accept a value or a function to validate the testing that is as you can see on the first case we have a function that checks if e is greater than 10 or not so if the value is greater than 10 then this case will be rendered in the second case we see that value is 20 so it matches the switch switch value so this case will also be rendered all other two cases won't be rendered because they are not matching with the switch values and finally we have one default case so in case any of these will not match so this default value will be rendered it is compulsory to have a default case let's start creating this this you can expect this question for ht ones and ht 2 during the machine coding round or the uh, problem solving round so you have to solve this question under 30 minutes not more than that so let me start creating the components over here the first component is custom switch so let me copy the name and create a function around this the second component is custom case And the third component is default case. Now custom case and default case what they will do is they will return or print the value that they accept as it is. So there is no corner cases over here. Whichever children they will receive right children is a special key or property available to every function these children represent the child that these functions receive in the JSX format so this special keyword it's always available or all, all we have to do is we have to render and return it so basically we have to render this so if I return these children it will render whatever children it has accepted similarly for the default case we are going to accept the children and we are going to render it so our default and custom case is clear we don't have to do any processing over here the majority of our logic goes inside the custom switch because this is where we evaluate all the children that it accepts and based on the name of the children we have to check the values so let's get started this will accept the children's so children will be either a single element or an array of elements and then we have the value property to it so i am destructuring the value also now here from the react library we have something called children that is a special method which helps us to iterate the children's that a component receives so this children can be either a single value or an array of value so you have to do conditional check and decide if it is single value you have to return it as it is if it is array of value you have to iterate so this children method that is available on the react this help us to do the processing bypass that logic and simply we can iterate the children so if it is single element then also this for each function will run once and if it is array of element uh, sorry array of uh, uh, elements so this will be run as long as uh, the element items are there now as you are aware right this jsx is basically a functional representation so jsx we write so that the end user will understand it is near to html writing so it will be easier for us to write the code in jsx but ultimately with the help of babel this jsx is converted to a function 
now let me show you how that function looks like so if i print this children right you will see that react dot create element functions will be there multiples of them as you can see right we have an function over here basically that's an object so this function is represented by object and this object what it has is it has its type so type is react dot element so the um, type of this object is element type then we have keys we have references which is null because we haven't uh, assigned them and then properties so we have children these children have divs right so if you can see this custom case have a div with the value hello 10 so it has a nested react element that has a nested react element so this is how it goes you can see my video of how react.dom renders this jsx it will help you to understand how react dot um, react element works and how jsx is converted to react element and then it is rendered on the dom i'll add the link in the description as well as in the card you can see it so because this is an object right you can see that i can get the name of these elements so i can decide i can get this name what's the name of the element that is if it is custom case or default case so that will be available on the type so if i go and say e dot type clear this and run again you will see that we get the react dot create element and here if i write e dot type dot name this will return me the name of the children so see i am getting custom case and default cases so there are one two three four custom cases and one default case here one two three four custom cases and then one default case so we got the name and based on the name we can differentiate now here i am creating two array one is for the cases and another is for the default case so const default now i am going to add a condition over here so if e dot type dot name equals to equals to custom case so we have to do certain processing else if e dot type dot name equals to default case then we have to do nothing because in the default case we have to just push that in the default array and there will be only one default case at max okay we have pushed in in the default array now for the custom case we have to do two validations over here as you can see we have to first check if the value is matching uh, to the switch value that is a complete parity and otherwise this value can also accept a function so we have to do a functional check as well so here i'm going to see if the type of e dot props dot value so if the type of value is function then we have to pass the parent value to this function and check if it is passing or not so basically we have to e dot props dot value and we have to pass the parents value and if this passes then we have to push in the cases so this case pass so we have to render this otherwise else if we are going to do a parity check so if value equals to equals to e dot type dot value and if equality check passes then also we are going to push in the form in the cases so that's the two condition that we have handled after that from this custom switch we are going to return the value so if cases dot length is greater than zero then we are going to return cases otherwise we are going to return defaults as these are both array 
and they contain the children's that are react element or the jsx element so this will be rendered directly on the screen through react dom let me run this and see here we are getting hello 10 so there should be two values in the cases let me check what has happened so the first value should be uh, the value that is 20 which is this one hello 20 and the second is this one where we are doing the function check so e greater than or equal to so sorry e greater than 10 so let's print certain logs and check what is the value of the cases so here if i do console dot log cases let's see how many values the cases have the cases currently has only one value that means only one condition is passing which is the first one the second condition is not passing that's because here i have mistakenly type type rather than it should be props because uh, the value is available on the props the name is available on the type so if i run this again you will see that two values are printed hello 10 and hello 20 so our application works fine now if i change this to 10 then it should print this value 10 the fourth one so let me put this as 20 only and then this 10 so right now we have only hello 10 there is one instance of it so we will be able to differentiate properly now if i run this you see that we are getting hello 10 and if i increase this value to 100 so the default case should be printed that is hello 40 hello 20 is printed okay so the first one is printed because this function check is passing uh, e is greater than 10 so yes e is greater than 10 that's why it's passing let me change the condition e less than 10 so it will fail in that case hello 40 was printed the default case so our example is working extremely fine we were able to solve this problem under 30 minutes i hope you have learned something new today Thank you for your time.